Assalamualaikum and good day. My name is Azin Awawi from UTHM and today we will uh, do a, a, an assembly exercise in on shape. And I take the this example from the note solute notes uh, from my alma mater FKMP UTHM and this is the uh, flywheel and this is one of the the example that they use when they learn assembly using solid work. So I'll, I'll try to do the same thing for on shape. Okay, so let's go. Okay, so in on shape, um, actually uh, the best, the, one of the best thing about on shape is you can import the parts that you draw in SolidWorks into on shape. So how you gonna do it? Okay, um, first you need to open the the on shape, ready to draw like this, and then at the bottom down here there is a plus plus symbol right. So click on that one, and then you're gonna choose import. Okay, import. And then you need to find the SolidWorks that uh, solid work, SolidWorks file that you have. Okay, um, the format is the format um, for solid parts. The format is uh, SLDPRT. Okay, this is normal. This is for solid parts, and this for solid assembly, SLDASM. Uh, but for assembly, the the import importing method is quite complicated. Okay, but just we just go for the solid work part okay so when you import the the part you will get something like this okay the parts will be available very similar to the ones in solid works okay and yeah the, the look is very nice okay the same, the same thing it is the same thing actually okay okay and here we got the notes from fkmp okay developed by mr azui and the gang dr sia and everyone so thank you very much so we will try to assemble the flywheel press according to their notes and eh? and the drawing is also provided by them and i already imported all the parts into on shape yeah you can see at the bottom here okay all the parts is already imported okay and the good thing is uh, okay another time you can import many parts at the same time okay uh, many parts at the same time for example okay flywheel okay you can put you can import more than one file which is quite nice okay? and then when you click open okay all file will be included into on chain and they will put into uh, different tabs okay separate tabs uh, so one part will be on one tabs just like the excel and all those things okay so let's do it okay so the first thing to do is you need, okay you, you need to you need to create an assembly file okay so you need just just as before you need to go down here at the plus icon and then you need to click create assembly okay create assembly okay and we got one here okay you get one here so try to rename the file okay right click and then go to rename okay right click and go to rename okay and i'm gonna give it name flywheel press p r e s s okay so that's my part okay so the first thing to do is to import uh, the, the the to insert sorry to insert the parts uh, one by okay one by one but um the, the 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 good practice is to insert the the main main body or or the base part first okay so the base part is this one the main body okay okay i will give you the link to download the parts later in my youtube video so don't need to worry about that so this is the base part okay meaning that all parts will come to the to the base part meaning that, meaning that this is the, the mother of the of the product and right? the component everything will come to the component so we're gonna insert this one first okay so go back to the flywheel press tab okay the assembly tab and then we need to go up here okay to insert and then try to find the yeah this one is the main body okay main body so click over there and then just put it over here okay leave it there okay and then for the base part you need to set it as fixed meaning that the part should not move around like this it should be fixed okay it should be fixed so to do that okay you need to go to the part okay and then right click on your mouse okay and then you go to fix okay because the base part have to be fixed okay that's the rules okay fix okay but uh, to check whether the part is fixed you need to go to the the information at the left or the, or the screen and then you can see a symbol like this this one is the fixed symbol okay so according to the notes okay the first part okay the second part is this one this one is the okay 
they were this is the base part and then they will include the okay main body and then they will include the pressing part is the second one so i'll go to the to my drawing and i go to insert okay okay insert okay here insert and then i'll try to find the pressing part okay yeah pressing part okay so i click that one i take it out like this okay now i have the pressing part so i need to assemble the pressing part to the main body so on shape is quite easy to use so what you need to do okay because this thing will not move you can see that it has screw uh, screw hole here meaning this part will be screwed to here so this part is not a slight part it will be fixed okay to the body so we will use the fasten made yeah okay so click on fasten made so i will make um, this part point to this point okay this point so first on this point because this one will touch one another okay so i'll adjust a bit okay oh, yeah that point okay enter and it the, the points will touch this part my friend this part okay wait okay play around yeah and make sure that the orientation of the of the assembly also of the mid um, assistant i don't know why they call it is have the same orientation lah look finish okay easy super easy okay super easy okay there okay so but okay so you don't you do not need to change the orientation all those things because this is yeah this is the correct, correct orientation but if your your drawing have problem you can change the the axis over here just click okay yeah, okay that's how or maybe you can change the orientation okay to the next uh, the icon okay that is click orientation but I think we're gonna stick with that the first orientation so when you are and when you are okay with the with the with the assembly you just go up here to the green tick okay click on that one okay minute you set okay so voila nice okay now you have two parts part one and part two and they <laughs> did not give any name for that one no worries okay part one part two and then okay this is the mate that we just did before okay the mate will also be listed in the info okay okay next what's next okay next they put the okay so see um, too many steps in solidworks so on shape is better okay screw no you do not need that okay so the next part is the coupling the coupling they say that uh, it must be floated about okay it must be assembled uh, relative to these two hole and it is float it should be put about 100 mm float okay floating 100 mm to the to the pressing part okay so now risk go back here and call in the coupling okay so we're gonna insert the coupling so we're gonna go here okay and then go insert and then try find the coupling okay this one is coupling take it out okay just put it over there okay nice okay so that the coupling okay we will uh, assemble here and the distance from the body is 100 mm okay so no need to worry so i think we just mm, we can use the mm, we can use the yeah we can use the faster main and then we're going to set the offset to be 100 eh, sorry 10 mm so faster main the same thing okay so i will fasten this one okay i'm gonna the reference uh, i'm gonna take this one as the reference okay and it will be um, mated to this part okay wait okay now on shape we'll combine them together okay but the thing is from the drawing you said that it should be separated about 10 10 mm so i need to go to the offset here okay on offset okay i can see that this is z axis okay the blue one that we're going to play around is the z axis so i'm going to go to offset and then i'm going to play around with the z okay Z is sorry how much like that? 100 mm sorry 100 mm so Z and I type 100 over there and then click enter okay so voila that is the the assembly that we want okay so click okay okay nice see finish and when you try to move the part okay see it can't be moved <laughs> see only one mid and the part is thick over there cannot be moved but in solidworks you're gonna need two mm, two or, or, or three okay mate okay uh, two in short two mates but here only one okay which is quite nice okay next what's next 
So next part is the adjustable rod. Okay, but here they want it short and long, but in on shape. I don't know how, but we only managed to import only one type, which is long. Okay, no need to worry. Just use it. Okay. So they call it, uh, what's the name? They call it the adjustable rod. Okay, so go back to on shape and insert. Okay, insert. And click here. Adjustable rod. One. Because two rod. Okay. Okay. And one more time. Two. Okay. And they said that in the notes, the rod should be assembled. And yeah, it should have about 20 mm distance from the, the coupling. Okay. So not a problem. We still can use the fast and main. Okay. So what we're going to do is I drag it a little bit through here. So I'm going to use the same thing. The fast and main. Okay. Fast and main because those, those things will not move. Okay. Fast and main. And then I'm going to choose this one. This part. And then I'm going to choose this one as the main. Okay. It will combine. And then I need to adjust. I need to set the distance of the Z axis. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the offset here. Okay. And then I'm going to put here as 20. Voila. 20, right? Yeah, 20 mm. Voila. Nice. See? <laughs> Okay, the same thing for another one. Okay, I drag it a little bit nearer. It's gonna be easy for us. So I'll go to back to the faster mate. Okay. And then I'm gonna choose this one. Okay, this uh, as the uh, point for mating. And this one is this one. Uh, okay. Okay, see? It's there. And then I'm gonna go to the offset. Here. Okay. And then I'm gonna put 20mm on the Z coordinates we need 20 mm offset voila nice okay that's what we want okay why the thing is not available okay we cannot see okay wait okay there's something wrong with the with the coupling with the adjustable rod i think we need to change the we need to change the the appearance of the rod okay click right click and then we go to appearance maybe change color what not easy to do okay no worries change color maybe yeah okay maybe because something about the yeah that's the best that can do okay i don't know maybe because of the setting from solidworks because in solidworks they put ah maybe about the the thread of here thread over here making things doesn't look good okay the thread on solidworks ah because they, i think that one is not really thread that one is just a maybe a picture that paste it over there so that's what we get okay now see i think it's gone no worries about that okay it is not visible okay adjustable rod can i do something to you come on oh sorry okay so apron to face and what if we put no, it is hard to do. I don't know why. Okay. Okay, no worries. Just leave it there. Okay. Okay, no worries. Just leave it over there. Okay. But we... Okay. But we know that here is the rod. Okay, no need to worry. Okay. So next. Next is the screw. How many screw? Sorry. How many? Okay, there are six screw. Six bolt. Sorry, six bolt. Six bolt. And the bolt will be put here. At the hole of the bolt. Okay. So, we're going to call the ball. Okay. So, go back to on shape and then click insert. Okay, back to insert. Okay, and then we're going to... Okay, this is ball. Take one ball. Okay, put out. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you how we can copy, <laughs> duplicate the ball. Okay. So, just go to the ball. Bolt. Sorry, bolt. And right click. And then you go to copy part. Okay, copy part. Copy part. And then you just... Control V, Control V, and then Control V on your keyboard, and then press Control V. Just like in Microsoft Words, it is, it is quite fun, okay? It is one, okay, so Control V, okay, and then Control V. So now we have six, <laughs> okay? Control C, Control V, which is nice, funny, okay? So we're gonna bring it here, okay? So now, because their ball gonna be put here, and the ball will move, meaning that it will rotate and we don't want the ball to go out so i think we're going to use that 
rebel made meaning that the bolt can rotate okay but it cannot come off uh, come out from the from the hole okay so i use the bolt made and then i go to the bowl one bowl i pick i'm gonna pick this one the inside see ah uh, there okay okay the i'm gonna put there are points inside here so pick that one okay okay and then i go to the hole oh, i'm gonna pick that one okay okay guess one two three so pick this one the, the outermost okay voila nice and try to animate you can see the whole movie yeah <laughs> very nice voila nice okay and then okay i gotta repeat for the second bowl okay here go to revolute and then go to the bowl i'll pick this one okay and i'm gonna go to the to the hole over here okay gonna put here oh okay so wrong way so if you got something like this don't be panic just go here to the flip primary axis and then click once yeah you got it nice okay and try to do the same thing for the rest of the bolt okay so bolt okay one here and then put it over here like this voila nice okay nice you can instead of tick on the this green green tick you also can tick here okay this is the same thing okay and then one more thing okay one more time okay so revolute mate okay pick this one okay this one okay and then go okay hold the the roll of your mouse okay and rotate a bit and then pick this one voila okay no worries okay it is all around the other way around so go just go here flip primary axis okay here and then click voila nice okay okay so two more oh sorry oh okay three more two more okay so go up here to revolute main and go zoom to the bolt okay pick that one okay and then go to the hole over here okay and pick that okay can we play around no just one direction okay all right okay same thing okay just go here to the flip primary axis and then just click over there okay nice nicely done okay so last one okay last one go to revolute main here and then go to the bolt okay here okay choose this one as the point for mating okay and then go to here to the hole and click okay okay wrong way no worries go click to that one and then voila finish with the bowl nice nice so nice okay so this one just go to the bowl right click and then delete can we delete it or maybe uh, just press okay right click and press delete yeah gone <laughs> okay finish with that one okay so what's next and then finish that one so okay next is the okay they want us to okay sub assembly Sub assembly meaning that uh, the assembly that will be com already assembled and then will be combined to the main body. So we they want us to assemble this thing. Okay, it is the the they call it the sub assembly. Yeah, sub assembly and they give it the name handle sub assembly. Okay, they mean they name it handle sub assembly. Okay, the name handle sub assembly. Okay, here yeah. handle sub assembly and it consists of the round handle rod handle and then uh, connect the rod the screw uh, I just, just leave it the screw later okay round handle rod handle and then connect the rod okay so just go back to the on shape and when then this is silly. so they want us to make a uh, sub assembly so no no need to worry just leave it like this so we're gonna we're gonna create a new assembly okay create assembly and we're gonna assemble our handle side assembly over there and then we will insert in this uh, the main assembly okay and then we will combine them together so just go to create side assembly and we got a new name and then give it a new name okay maybe uh, handle sub assembly okay rename okay so handle sub assembly sub a sem b l y did I spell it correctly yeah Correct. 
handle sub okay okay so in the handle sub assembly we need a, a rod handle a rod handle sorry we need a rod handle a round handle and then a connector rod so this one the rod handle will be the the base part of the sub assembly so the round handle will be put to the rod handle and then contact connector rod will be put to the yeah, yeah. so mm -hmm, rod handle so we're gonna call the rod handle first okay so here we need to insert click insert okay just call them together okay so the first one is rod handle put it here okay and then round handle put it here okay anywhere maybe here and then the um, connector rod take it up and put it over here okay now we have all them and then we need to declare one part as the as the base part or mother of the of the sub assembly and we will put, take this one okay and then we like click right click on that one on that part and we're gonna go to fix okay because it is the sub assembly fix okay so okay from what i understand is okay this this what do you call it a round handle round handle will be assembled to the rod handle and they're gonna use uh, this hole and then this hole as the reference so it is easy for us okay what we're gonna do is um, okay we will put there because it will not move so we can use the yeah fast and mid okay fast and mid okay so click on fast and mid and then we will take this one as the reference point okay that one is for the round handle and the, the rod handle we're gonna take this one a small part here this one okay voila <laughs> easy yeah, okay easy ah, see and we can see that the rod handle is not moving stick to the rod handle nice okay next is this part the connector rod to the body of the rod handle okay so this one is also easy the same thing because the, it, it, gonna, it will not move so just use the faster mate okay faster mate here yeah. okay so click on the faster mate okay and we're gonna use this point yeah okay this point and the, the point will will touch um, this point yeah right here uh, okay pop over there voila see <laughs> and then we click on the green tick okay so finish okay finish okay only couple of seconds and then handle start assembly so then we will assemble this thing to the flywheel press okay so just go to the flywheel press tab over here okay okay see and then we need to call we need to insert the sub assembly the handle sub assembly so just go go to insert okay go to insert and then instead of go to the part studio over here we, we need to go to the next of the part studio which is the assemblies okay click over there and then you can we will we'll see the handle sub assembly is over here so just click on that one and drag it out drag and put it here nice okay and click okay so now yeah we are good to go we can put this thing on top of the base part so what is the settings okay what is the setting that they want uh, okay they say that it is it should be with i think 100 100 mm 100 mm on top of the wait 100 mm on top of the yeah yeah this one 100 mm on top of the base part of the coupling okay 100 mm so just go to the on shape and then okay because this thing will rotate rotate and 100 mm so we can use okay we can use this one we can use the rebel mate yeah rebel mate is good okay rebel mate and then we're going to set the offset to be 100 here okay so click on rebel mate okay and then okay on the sub assembly choose this one go up here okay you can see that okay choose that one okay the bottom there they are hole and choose the hole for the rod okay choose that one okay easy and for the main assembly okay we're gonna go we go to the coupling and choose the middle of it like that okay so you can see that only the rod connector go to the main assembly but 
everything is left there so no need to worry this is the the style of on shape okay this is the the on shape style okay during the assembly only this thing goes but when we finish take the the, the green thing okay these two will follow to the connector okay so we're going to see that the z axis here we're going to set it is to 100 okay see z axis so we're going to set 100 okay so we need to go to the offset sorry okay offset okay and then okay so rotate about x so we're gonna go here is put here 100 and the voila okay see that's what you want 100 100 okay here 100 in this turn over here okay so go here and then i think the routing is okay so just click on the green thing okay voila okay you can see that it follows okay so okay try to animate okay and this one is the revolute is the last is the last last made the, the the latest made that we do okay so we did so right click on that one and try to animate and click animate okay <laughs> You can see it's moving, right? Uh, very nice. Okay, now so now we are finished. Okay. Okay, so that's how we do assembly in on shape. Okay. Okay, animate. Okay, animate again. How to animate? So go to the to the animation that you go to. Sorry, go to the mates that you did. Okay, right click on the one and then just go to animate. Okay, animate. Okay, and then just go here. To play button okay and then it will move like that okay okay so yeah it is good okay so i think that's all for now okay that's all for now for the main okay so yeah it is it will save how can we say okay this, this thing is like google drive it will be automatically saved to the cloud okay no need to worries okay no need to worries okay and then what we can do we can export okay we can export them okay we can export the assembly to the other format okay try to click export okay need to wait okay ah, yeah. uh, this is other the format that we can export to stl we want to go to 3d printer igs we want to go to katia all the step maybe for machining okay parasolid is uh, yeah solidworks and and also use parasolid okay so many yeah, and then you can download Okay, I think you can open in SolidWorks. Yeah, but I don't know how it, it can look like because I don't have SolidWorks in my laptop. So that's all for now for the assembly. So thank you for your for your time. Okay, see you again. Bye bye.